we have moved to a system what you call fiat money. Uh, and when the, the government writes you a check, it simply, your bank simply credits that sum to your, uh, to your balance. So the government does not actually have to find the money anyway, sim anywhere. It simply sends a signal to your bank and the money appears. Now, why do you believe the U.S. government will never, ever have a problem funding its public expenditures and deficits? Because the electricity supply to the computers that send those signals will never be cut off. <laughs> it's that simple. Simple as that. The United States cannot become anything like uh, Greece, except by inflicting on itself uh, the kind of austerity policies that the Greeks have had imposed on them by the, by the Troika. In terms of the financial stability of the United States, the conditions of the two countries are totally different. Uh, the Greeks have to earn euro in order to pay interest on their bonds, uh, and the United States government does not need to earn dollars in order to pay dollar interest on dollar bonds. Since the U.S. can print money and its own money, correct, and Greece cannot. That's, that's exactly what you're right. Yes. Now, what percentage of Congress do you think understands the relationship of debt and the economy? If I got all of them off the record, I imagine I could find one or two. <laughs> really? I haven't tried it. You, but you're deadpan serious on this. Yes. One, okay. Our political leadership doesn't understand the relationship between our trade deficit and our budget deficit, and they make assumptions that the desirable state is something called balance, in which revenues and expenditures become equal to each other, which is not only completely undesirable for the United States, it's also a practical impossibility. It is a practical impossibility. Yes, it's, it's, it, so long as the U.S. maintains its position as a, a supplier of reserve assets to the world, it cannot run a uh, trade balance or budget balance for anything but a very short period of time. The Federal Reserve has come an enormously long way over the, over the last 30 or 40 years. Uh, they used to be a very obscure, very uh, uh, opaque agency, and now they are uh, much more open. They do explain themselves to the, to the world. And they, uh, the Federal Reserve Board is intellectually, I think, in many ways, the most interesting place in Washington at the moment. Federal Reserve is a creature of the Congress.